R15 router as an extender. In our scenario, I have DIR825 as my main router and we'll be connecting R15 as an extender to the DIR825. So let us know how we are doing it. So firstly, we need to connect a laptop or a system to the D-Link R15 router as wired or wirelessly. So once we connect, we need to open up the browser and we need to access the D-Link page which is 192.168.0.1. So once we open that page, it will ask you to log into the router. By default, the admin password is written underneath the router as a device password. So you need to enter that device password. And you need to click on login. So once you log in, you will be getting a setup wizard. You have to click on agree. Now in this R15 by default, you'll be getting two modes. One is router mode and one is extender mode. So today we are going to learn to configure this D-Link router in an extender. So you have to click on extender and you have to click on next. So we'll get a wizard to configure R15 as an extender. So you need to click on next. In this screen, you will be able to see the existing network names which are available near R15 router. Now since in this scenario, DIR825 is my main router, so I will be able to see that name. So I have to connect on, I have to click on that name and click on connect. We need to enter the password which is given for the 5 GHz network or 2.4 of DIR825. So once we enter the password, click on next. Now in this screen, you'll be getting one option which says clone my existing Wi-Fi network name. What it means is if you click on it, the same name, the existing net network name will be replicated on all your clients, which means you'll be able to see only one network name. If you untick it, you will be able to configure the separate name for the DIR R15 router. So in this scenario, I'm setting a separate name for R15 as R15 EXT and I'm keeping the same password. Click next. It will ask you to set up the password for the device. So I'm keeping as admin123 and click next. Select the time zone. Click next. And then again, click next. So this will be the summary which you'll be getting after completing the setup wizard. You have to click on finish. Just wait for some time once the settings are saved. At this, side, at this time, you will be seeing the changes on the router R15. You can you will be able to see the lights change from uh, orange to white. Just wait until all the lights go to steady red, uh, steady white.
right so once the settings are saved you can check on the r1 fire router all the leds will be white and you will be able to see the network name of the r15 ext the name which we have set here's the name you have to click on connect once connected you will be able to access the internet through the r15 ext which means r15 is configured as extender So you can open up a browser now and you can check if you are able to access the internet. So using this page you will be able to access the R15 configuration page and if you just type in the main router's IP which is in my scenario which is DIR825 that is 192.168.0.1 I will be able to access the 825 page. You log into it you can see the status it says existing network connected which means r15 is configured as an extender and you are online you can also change the IP address of the r15 By default it will be dynamic, you can keep it as static and click on save. You can keep a note that the R15 has got the IP in the range of your main router that is 192.168.0.110. So once these settings are done, if you type 192.168.0.110, I should be able to access the R15 router. Now we'll see if you are able to access the router using. So that's it. That concludes the configuration. Thank you very much.